Hey guys, Cardinalis from Unipest again. After spending all morning in the 4th of July parade with a Unipest float, I thought I was gonna soak up the rest of the patriotic vibes and just watch some fireworks with my family. But no, a customer called in, and unfortunately a bunch of kids at a pool party are getting attacked by some bees coming from a beehive in the chimney next door. This sounds like a pretty intense hive, so we gotta go check it out, and hopefully, we can get it done in time for the fireworks. Okay, so the very first thing I noticed when I showed up was the sheer size of this beehive. I mean, this beehive was huge. Second thing I noticed was how aggressive it was. Wow, as you can see, this is a really aggressive hive. This thing was crazy enough that I knew right off the bat I would have to call in the cavalry. And by the cavalry, I mean my friend, Amir. Just like Don Quixote has Sancho, I got Amir, baby. So the most important part of being able to do a hive removal is actually locating the hive itself. Usually we do this by taking a regular imaging scope and putting it behind the stucco to find where the hive material was. In this case, because the hive was coming out of a chimney, there was so much chimney bracing and so many two by sixes, we couldn't really see visually exactly where the hive was coming from. So we had a choice, either attack the hive through the stucco randomly with a hammer or try and take a more refined approach. In this case, we decided to take the more refined approach and enter the living room of the house to try and find where the beehive was by using one of these, a thermal imager. If we want to know exactly where the beehive is, sometimes it helps to use a thermal imager. Check this out. Look at that, there's the beehive right there. See, bees have to maintain their hives at about 93 degrees Fahrenheit. If it gets hotter than that, they'll actually fan the hive with their wings. And if it gets cooler than that, they'll actually start dancing around the hive to warm it up. So fortunately, if there's a hive stuck right up against drywall in a wall, oftentimes you can see it with one of these thermal imagers. Oh, look, there it is right there, dude. See it? Boom. Now that we knew where it was, it was time to go back to the truck and grab all of our drywall removal materials. As you can see, after we cut out the drywall, this beehive was huge. Oh, grandissimo. Oh, look at that. We removed almost 40 pounds of honey and hive material from this wall. Oh, yeah, look at all that. No wonder those poor kids were attacked. If you or any of your friends suspect that you have a similar hive in your house, give us a call, mention this video, and we'll give you a free bee inspection. Check it out. We made it back home in time for the fireworks.